Hey, I'm James Heimbach, the product manager for the testing group at GitLab. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing or doing a quick walkthrough um, of how to set up a GitLab CI YAML to use the new JUnit test reports feature, um, just to clarify any confusion. And so I'm going to start with just a really simple project. Um, so going from new project, we're going to create one from template and use the spring template that's here. Um, I've already actually taken that step. And so we have this initial project here uh, just based off the template. Um, so you'll notice there's no GitLab CI YAML file there, uh, but let's take a quick look at the source to confirm that we have some tests. And we do, we have a couple of unit tests here, which is exactly what we need. So let's go back in and we'll go ahead and create a new GitLab CI YAML file. And so we're going to do a pretty bare bones file here. just with the build stage. If we reference the docs for JUnit, we'll look uh, here we're using Maven and we'll have some Surefire test reports. Um, so we'll just copy this artifacts reports JUnit and the Surefire line. Um, and that's really all we need to get going and be able to utilize that JUnit report. So I'll go ahead and just um, copy that over. Make sure we get everything on the right line. All right, great. So go ahead and commit that change. And with the new GitLab CI YAML file, it should kick off a build for us. So our pipeline is running, great. And so we'll go ahead and pause and we'll be back when that is done running. Okay, so our pipeline finished running. We're on the pipeline view here and we don't see any tests, but if we refresh the page, we'll see our tests show up. And so this is the new view uh, that includes the test suites. We see the suite in the Maven build, uh, everything passed, great. And if we click into that, we can see individual tests that have run. Um, so that's pretty great. So we look back at the pipeline again, though, I wanna show off real quick. Um, that we don't have an artifact here. Um, that we can download and view. And so we need to make a quick change in our GitLab CI YAML to expose that and make that downloadable. Um, that's actually called out in the docs, just not in a great way. In the Ruby example, it calls out adding this paths um, keyword here and then specifying the XML file again. Um, we'll create that. So let's go ahead and get into our GitLab CI YAML and make that change real quick. And so all we need to do is after the artifacts and the paths keyword and the same line here. Go ahead and commit that, do it as a merge request. And we'll pause the video again, and as soon as that pipeline's done running, we'll be back. Okay, our pipeline is all finished up. Let's go ahead and take a look. And in our job, now we have a job artifact. And so we can go ahead and take a look at that. We see we have that file available.
Cool. All right, so uh, the next thing I want to show is just modifying one of those tests so that we can see a failure. So let's go ahead and jump in to the tests themselves. And we'll just change this assert. Oops. I have to get into the web ID to do that though. All right, we'll change this assert real quick just so that it does fail. Commit real quick. And go ahead and submit that MR. And we'll be back as soon as that pipeline's done to show what, what happens. So we have a failed pipeline after we made our change to our test. And we can see in the merge request view here, uh, we now have a test summary. So we have one failed or error test out of the total of two tests. We expand on that, we can see within the test suite what happened in Maven build, there was one error found. Clicking down further, we can actually see what the error is. Spring is there, it's not what was expected. It was looking for spring is here. Uh, and this is similar to the view of what we saw in the test reports, which we can get at by getting into the pipeline and then clicking over to the test job. And now we see this view is a little bit different. We see we only have a 50% success rate. We see this is the suite that failed uh, in there, one passed, one failed for a total of two tests. And digging in, we can see further that we have a failed status on this one with that trace. And so we can get some more information there uh, just about understanding what has failed in the test themselves. And so that's just a quick overview of using that new JUnit test report, uh, of getting at that information in the pipeline, how to get to it from the merge request. Uh, and we're looking forward to feedback from the community and users um, about how we can make this feature even better. Uh, I'll link to this project in the video notes uh, and leave everything right where it's at. So you can go ahead and take a look. Uh, dig around, fork the project if you want, uh, but hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks.